Hey guys and welcome to the video. So today's video is all about how to not get fat while traveling or on holiday. So let's get into the video. So the biggest problem with going on holiday is that we tend to do less and eat more. We want to relax and enjoy ourselves, right? So that's also the biggest or the perfect recipe for weight gain. So what can we do about this? So first of all, there's two kind of holidays you might go on a relaxing holiday or an activity based holiday. So obviously the relaxing holiday is a bit more difficult to um, maintain your weight than an activity based holiday. So we have two things to consider um, when we're thinking about our weight. We have the food we eat and the activities we participate in our day. That's just all the movement basically. So the food is what comes in and the activity is what goes out in terms of energy. And we have to balance this to maintain or uh, to lose weight, we need to uh, unbalance it in a negative way. We need to be burning more, doing more activity than the food that we're consuming. So the biggest problem with food while we're away is that everything is different. We're outside our normal routine, the food is different, we're eating at different times, we're eating at different amounts, we're with different people, there's, there's yeah different types of foods, new foods we want to try. Sometimes you might be at an all-you-can-eat uh, place, so um, you're tempted by um, eating more than usual. So there's lots of different things that um, all combine together to sometimes make you eat more than you usually would. And also people tend to drink a bit more on holiday as well, which tends to add extra calories as well. And relating to exercise and activity, yeah, you want to relax on holiday. So some people, they spend their whole holiday uh, lying on the beach or whatever, sitting down and just enjoying themselves more, relaxing. So this is also not so good for weight loss because you're doing less, so you're burning less energy. So combining the food, the more food and the less activity, it's a perfect combination to put on weight. What's the solution to this? What can you do about this? Um, how can you um, not put on loads of weight while you're away? So first of all, before you go on your holiday, decide with yourself, are you happy um, maintaining your weight or do you want to continue losing weight while you're away? If you're happy just maintaining your weight, you can enjoy yourself a bit more and eat a bit more. If you want to continue losing weight, then you might have to be a bit more restrictive or do a bit more activity while you're away as well. So in terms of movement and exercise while you're away, there's no need to go to the gym or anything, but just do more activity, so sort of use your legs, explore, move around, uh, look at things. Um, you've got like, you're on holiday, you've got new things to, to see and do. So just, yeah, like I said, walk around, burn energy, um, just wandering around, maybe go on a hike, hikes are great, and all these things combine together to uh, increase your daily energy expenditure, and so that helps you maintain or even lose weight. One thing I tend to suggest to people when they go on holiday is just get up early and go for a short walk. Move, enjoy your surroundings, look at things, and maybe even get up in time for the sunrise, watch the sunrise. So that will get your day off to a great start. In terms of food, there's no need to track anything. Just rely on your hunger signals. Eat when you're hungry, not when you're bored. Eat at set meal times. Try not to snack too much through the day. Of course, have the odd ice cream. Enjoy yourself, but don't go crazy. Otherwise, you will find it hard to maintain your weight. So just be mindful of what you're eating. Be aware. Watch out for drinks because often alcoholic drinks, especially cocktails, have a lot of sugar and calories in them. So with drinks, I always suggest sticking to um, sort of spirits like rum, vodka, whiskey, things like that with a diet mixer. These are very sort of um, calorie, uh, what's the word? These are good on your calories. So that drinks like this are usually less than 50 calories. So really good on diets. And obviously you can still get drunk if you want to. If you do want to indulge at certain times of the day, say in the evening or at lunch, I often suggest to people to fast as well. So maybe skip your breakfast. Skipping your breakfast, that leaves those calories left over, that leaves them for the other meals. So you might want to have twice as much food in the evening, really enjoy yourself. So if you move your calories from breakfast, don't have them, uh, save them up and have them in the evening, then you will not have any negative effects in terms of weight by overeating. In terms of all you can eat, restaurants and holidays, 
don't go crazy. Like, if you went to a normal restaurant, you'd have one plate of food. So um, decide with yourself, tell yourself, I'm going to go up to the, the buffet, I'm going to pick one plate, and I'm going to put things I enjoy on it, things I like, but I'm not going to keep going up. I'm going to put it all on one plate and eat it like I would in a normal restaurant and, yeah, not sort of eat uh, continuously until I'm sick because um, you're going to feel bad and also you're going to be in a calorie surplus and that's not going to be good for your weight loss either. So those are the general things to consider while on holiday, guys. So rather than moving less and eating more, you want to try and move as much as possible, do as much activity as possible, and just be mindful of what you're eating. This will help you either maintain or lose weight while on holiday, and hopefully when you get home, you'll still be happy with your, your progress. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Like, share, and comment as always, and I'll see you in the next one.